What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today, we're going to be going over why Markel Fultz's shot may never be fixed. So before I start, if you want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. I think we all know the story of Markel Fultz this season. He played 4 games for the Sixers, averaging only 6 points on 33.3% shooting from the field and 50% shooting from the free throw line. And what's even stranger is that he hasn't even taken a single 3 point attempt this season. But I think we could see why as Fultz couldn't even hit rim on some of his free throw attempts. Fultz has an ugly hitch to his shot and combined with already bad form, his jumper is just gross to look at. However, we've seen many players change their forms in the NBA and see great results, so not all hope is lost for Fultz. But the big problem for Fultz that may lead to his shot never being fully corrected is the Sixers training staff and Fultz's shooting coach. So the Sixers training staff made Fultz change his free throw stroke in the beginning of the season, as reports came out that Fultz was having discomfort in his shoulder. Having a shoulder injury does not mean you should change your shooting form that helped you shoot over 40% from 3 in college, as what Fultz should have done is heal from the injury and stay with the original form. However, the Sixers didn't do that and they changed Fultz's form while making him play with a hurt shoulder. Needless to say, that wasn't a great idea. The problems with the Sixers training staff doesn't stop there as once we saw Fultz go back to the court and start working out after his injury, he started to shoot left-handed. We saw multiple clips of Fultz airballing these shots and it was simply painful to watch. Now today, reports came out that Fultz is using virtual reality to help with his shooting form. He's using VR goggles to give him a sense of what it will be like to shoot jumpers over defenders in game situations. In my opinion, this is ridiculous. I'm not an expert in VR, but I don't think it's going to be very helpful, and the Sixers need to stop playing around and get a real shooting coach to help smooth out Fultz's shot and its hitches. Not to mention the Sixers don't have a great history of dealing with injured players, and it doesn't look like they're doing a great job with Fultz. I think another problem with the Sixers new form they're making Fultz use is a low release point. What made Fultz very good in college with his jump shot was his very high release point, which allowed him to shoot easily over defenders. By taking that away, they're removing one of Fultz's shooting strengths. So overall, I think the Sixers are doing a terrible job with Fultz in his shooting form. They will continue to damage his shot and his confidence if they keep making him do these crazy experiments. With the Sixers training staff and his current shooting coach, it's not looking like Fultz will ever fully correct his shot. However, Fultz is still young and I'm hoping he can bounce back from a terrible start to his NBA career, but it's not looking too likely with the Sixers. All I can say is pray for Fultz. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below on your thoughts on Markel Fultz's shooting form. Do you think he'll ever get it fully fixed? Do you think his current shooting form is going to work? Let me know down in the comments below and I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.